Now, the Senate on Tuesday asked the federal government to suspend any planned implementation of its 5G network in the country pending the conclusion of a probe into the effect on the public. The motion, which was brought by Senator Uche Ekwunife from Anambra State during plenary, emphasized on the need to verify claims the network can impact the health of the citizens. We are now joined by Engineer Martin Onovo to discuss this matter further. Good afternoon, Engineer Onovo. Good afternoon. And it's good to have you here. Thank you very much. Very quickly, what's your take on the controversy uh, about 5G network? Well, the first thing is that uh, the controversy can be blamed on the inadequacy of the international uh, regula regulatory standards. Uh, the International uh, Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation has specifications that says if it doesn't heat up the body, mm -hmm. then it's not dangerous. And that is what the 5G promoters insist on, that we meet the standards. But the standards are clearly inadequate because it is known, it is documented, it has been researched, it's been confirmed that radiation affects very many people depending on their electrosensitivity. Some people are more electrosensitive than the others. others. And, um, in a place like Canada, as of today, it is official that 50% of Canadians will have cancer in their lifetime. And there are many studies attributing radiation from telecoms equipment mm -hmm. uh, or indicting or identifying radiation from telecoms equipment as a causative factor for cancer. There are very many studies across many different countries. Well, but that has, it's not just the 5G network. Even when we moved to 4G, even when we started Bri the telecommunications, brilliant. Brilliant. we had people, there were these concerns and this conversation. Br very brilliant. Thank you for that question. The problem with 5G is that because it cannot go long distances, you need more masts. Mm -hmm. Because you need more masts, each mast is bringing its own radiation. I'm happy you brought that up because even 3G has radiation. The question is how much radiation? X-ray is not good for your health. That's why when you go to do an X-ray, they ask you when was the last time you did an X-ray. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand that. So it's just like dosages. So with the 3G, if you have the mast far away, you only deal with the radiation from your phone. But with 5G, 5G necessarily requires mass to be very close to each other for it to be effective. So because of that, it's an ocean of radiation. And that's a grave concern, if you want. I, I insist your... that we cannot ignore all the studies done across institutions across continents. Mm -hmm. it, it's not reasonable to ignore them. But I want to move a bit faster. I, was, I, will come, uh, I will take up other questions. But very quickly, there are other countries that are already using this. Agreed. So why are we a bit slow in accepting? Is there something different? Well, if someone goes to do x-ray every day, will you also decide to go and do x-ray every day? That's the issue. This thing has made people move houses move away from their houses because of mass radiation. People have filed lawsuits claiming that radiation caused damage from the employer. If you buy a phone and you look at the phone booklet, you will see the radiation specifications of the phone. Mm -hmm. So there's no question whether radiation is natural or not or whether it's good for your health or not. It's what dosage. And there are reports saying that 5G dosage of radiation is 10,000 times higher than 3G. Mm -hmm. So these things need to be clearly and precisely defined, not by vested interests. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Because vested interests are insisting that we meet the specifications. But the specifications are clearly inadequate. Because the question says it is not dangerous until it starts to heat you up just like a microwave heats up food. Mm. And we're saying that's not sufficient because we know that our body systems have electrical signals. And 
the current proposition is that this level of radiation interferes mm -hmm. with the body's electrical signals. And for people who don't understand that, when you enter an aircraft, they say switch off your phone. That's right. Because your phones might interfere with the electronic systems of the aircraft. It's equivalent. All right. So, and secondly, you said, why is Nigeria slow to? I support the position of the Senate. It is better to err on the side of caution. Hmm. COVID-19, how many people has it killed? And everywhere is hysterical. This thing is going to cremate people. Hmm. All right. Uh, I, hear you, I hear you there. H however, the federal government have said they would do the due diligence before implementation. I am wondering why is the, why is the Senate still, you know, h hitting on this, on this matter? You must be the only one that I know that believes in uh, what the federal government says. The federal government says it will create 3 million jobs every year. And I think we lost 9 million every year. So you, you, we can't just take it because the federal government says it. We need to and see it done. You, you don't trust, you don't trust. Oh, clearly, oh, clearly. And that's why I say you're the only one who I know who but trusts. But that's going way, trust way ahead. Well, why don't we just... You, you, you interview so many people, ask them if they trust the government. Hmm. I mean, what has the government told you? What has the government done? I just gave you one example. So we need to be careful because this is a health issue. This is a health issue. You won't be here asking these questions if you were very sick. So this clearly thing, your position is that this shouldn't happen. You are not no, for No, until we are 100% sure it is safe. Because right now, I know it's not safe. Because I know that even 3G is not as safe. I will not want to live near a 3G mast. I, I will not want to live near a 3G mast. I have a friend who is very electrosensitive. And this thing is very harsh to people who are very electrosensitive. Hmm. And we are not sure how many there are in the population. What if half our people are uh, electrosensitive? And in two, three years, all of them have cancer. How do you treat them? You have 3,000 uh, coronavirus uh, patients, and there, there is panic and hysteria all over the place. <sighs> if, if you had 30 million cancer patients from, from 5G, what, what would be your... Well, until we have a proof for that, unfortunately. Well, you, you, unfortunately I'm telling you that there are studies. What proof do you... Uh, yes, Maybe I mean... we use you as a, as a guinea pig no, for Not it. exactly. <laughs> it's following your last line of thought. That's what I mean, to say unless we, until we have proof. But I, I mean, I understand the point you're trying to make. There are studies, and I will give those studies that. because I have cases, people that I know, mm -hmm. who claim that this thing upsets their entire system and makes them very sick, not just sick. Hmm. I know people, well, and some of them are Nigerians. Unfortunately, that's all that we can take in the interest of time. I suppose we need to get you in again to discuss this further and uh, maybe bring more of this your proofs you're talking about. Thank you so very much. Well, there are so many today. studies, and they're uh, across countries. Thank so you so very much for your time and for your insights on the conversation. Thank you very much.